Ash United TV joined by manager Steve Cunningham after the 1-1 draw at Stafford Rangers. Steve, we've just said it off camera, it seemed like there was only one team that wanted to play football there. Yeah, um, I don't want to be disrespectful to, to Hilly and his, his lads, but um, we've done our own work, you know what you're going to be up against on a tough pitch. Um, I mean, it's not as, as, as lively as maybe ours, but at the same point, you're up against a team that are just playing for a long ball, channel, percentage ball to get a throw in and towels on the side and balls are being thrown in. Now, in the first half, I thought we dealt with that really well. Um, and second half, I thought there was only one team trying to play football and trying to gain football. But at the same point, there's still a threat with that, that set piece from a throw. Um, disappointed with the first half. Uh, I thought it was a little bit off it in terms of our energy and our intensity and also quality. But he's at the pitch and, you know, I, I don't know. But second half, what we came out and dominated the half. But how many times have I said that now? So I don't sound like a bloody sore loser because we've drawn the game. But I'm still disappointed with our performance levels with individuals. I'm expecting more from them um, and that will come in time. I know that. But um, yeah, I mean, we've come back again. I think that's three games now. We have gone behind and, and I do think that was against the run of play uh, when they've scored. You know, we dominate the first 20 minutes, but we've shown great character in three games now to come from behind. So I think that's a great trait in a, in a new dressing room. and It shows the characters that we've got in the dressing room. We counted it off, off the pitch in the first 15 minutes. The ball was out of play for nine minutes. What, what 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 can be done? Have the officials got to be better and, and get control of the game? Well, I mean, I think someone made a comment on social media that I'm a sore loser because I blame officials. I've not blamed officials hardly, but you've got to look at the quality of the referee's performance as well if we're going to get judged because managers get sacked on performance levels and um, he's killed us there. I mean, we... we I was speaking to Beasley at uh, Warrington, 25 throw-ins, it's, it's 30 seconds a pop, that's nearly 8-9 minutes of a game that we're waiting while they address the ball with a towel and stuff, but listen, it's part and parcel of the game and listen, I'm not going to take that away from them because they work on that, I mean you can see there the grass is worn away where uh, Tonk runs and takes his throw-in, but it works for them. Um, but I certainly wouldn't want to coach that and I certainly want to, I wouldn't want that as a football for my fans or my team so I think I'm going to stick to my principles it will come in time um, what's that we've played six league games now uh, we've only lost two so I think if we keep going the way that we're going we're going to win more games trying to play good football um, and hopefully that I mean the fans have come and seen us try to play football if they want to see that that's not for me but uh, that's not us so disappointing from the referees um, handling of that but it's going to go on and we've just got to deal with it Obviously, Saturday off, no game on Saturday. Looking ahead then to Whitby, another tough Tuesday night trip. Does the full week off, getting the lads into training, do you think that will make a difference? Yeah, massive. We, we need to do a bit of team bonding. We're going to be going out together. Um, we need to do something that just yells them a little bit because they've been thrown together. We've got some cracking lads in there. Um, but I think it's time that they just bond, relax a little bit. We're putting a bit of pressure on them, but there's no expectation on us at the moment. We're starting this our pre-season uh, and six games in. I'd like to think there's an improvement, um, you know, and, and we will get better. I'm not, I'm not happily... Uh, I'm not overly happy with the performance levels at the moment and it will get better um, but come Saturday nice chance to just relax and spend a bit of time together and then a tough trip to Whitby um, it's going to be exactly the same as this the only thing is it's going to be a real roll your sleeves up and have a battle because their pitch is lively and most are at this time of the year so it's not anything you can't you know it, we can't call teams for it because ours is as bad so including our own yeah so I don't want to sound like glass houses here but I think what you've got to do is we've just got I, th I thought we've shown a bit more of a nasty aside today which we've not been we've been a bit too nice but we've got a whip beyond Tuesday we're going to have to up that again because otherwise it's going to be another long slog and that's a bloody long way to go on a Tuesday night <laughs> um, if you're going to just you know go there and expect a team you know roll them over with the football you're not going to do that so it's a long trip um, but listen it's another building block isn't it we're we know where we are at the moment, we're happy in terms of certain things, we know we can be better. I mean, the atmosphere from the fans was superb on it, you know, the constant singing. Uh, I know me, me, me dad's in there and stuff and gets them going, but the others don't need to join in, and they do. And there's four or five blokes who have come all the way and they've just called them there and said some lovely words. So that's a bit of a win for me as well. Uh, and I can't thank them enough for coming all this way. And I know some of them are going up to Whitby as well, so, you know, I can only thank them for the support, coming all this way. We've tried to give them a second half performance they can be proud of and hopefully they'll be happy with that.